So hopefully by now you should be able to um, be in a position where you're picking your single notes cleanly. We, we dealt with the single notes on the A string I think I left you with. Those notes like that. Doesn't have to be fast, but you're picking them nice and cleanly without hitting the other strings and hopefully you've uh, started to develop a nice economical slight movement with your picking hand so that every time you pick in you're not exaggerated obviously moving around a million miles away from the guitar so that's where I'm hoping you're going to be at now that's great from here we're going to take it to um, introducing a metronome into our practice I always recommend metronome for most types of practice and for this it's super important because it enables us to get our picking at a consistent level of accuracy and speed without it um, without it varying because that's a bad habit that you don't really want to develop is playing uneven tempos certainly if you're going to I've just been doing another series on playing with a band playing with others you want to be playing in time and playing to the tempo of the song otherwise it's going to confuse you confuse them and make a big mess so what do I mean What's really tempting, once you've learnt a new technique, hopefully we're up to speed now, we can pick that note. Some of you out there, I imagine probably quite a few of you out there, will have had a go at seeing how fast you can pick that, just because it's natural, not because you want to be um, a twiddly twiddly um, superstar guitar player, but because when you learn something, you want to see how far you can push it, how far you can go. That that's great. So you've probably tried picking that faster and faster just to see. Number one, if your technique's working, can you increase the speed without hitting the other strings, without fluffing? And that's brilliant. That's good for your self development. And number two, that curiosity that guitar players sometimes have. How fast can I do that? How many times a second can I pick that? No. That's brilliant, um, but we need to be accurate as well. So if you if you if you tried that, or even if you haven't, one of the pitfalls that I'm going to tell you now is if you're practicing without a metronome, what will happen is this: you will start practicing that, picking that A string, nice simple exercise, you don't have to worry about much, and you'll probably build it up to a speed that is your maximum speed at this moment. I'm sure you'll get faster with practice and cleaner with more practice. But you'll have realised there's a speed that you can play at. Now, when you're new to this, you've got a couple of problems. One is you're playing slightly above your level because your true speed to be consistent is going to be slightly less than that. And the second one, if you're not used to it, is going to be muscles and fatigue. So what will happen is if you start trying to play, practice as fast as you can and want to keep those notes even, you'll just slow down after a few seconds because you won't be able to keep up with yourself so if you start playing after a bit your hand's going to start tensing and you're not going to be able to maintain that you see other players doing it on YouTube and professional players doing it it's because they've been doing it for a long time and practiced it that's how they can keep it up if you're just starting out, you won't be able to keep it up. As ever, if your hand starts hurting, give this particular practice exercise a break and have a go at something else. Go back to your chords or back to a bit of theory or something else. So what we're going to do is we're going to link that picking technique that hopefully you've got started really well down to a metronome now. So we're going to be picking, not when we think we need to pick, but when the metronome tells us to pick. And we'll start off really slowly. The metronome and phone here is set at 60 beats per minute, which is quite a, a slow mild tempo. As you can hear. And I'm trying to hit every single note precisely. It's fine, I'm doing it at 60, until we can get those notes precisely on the beat, we don't want to be increasing that. So your key is to get in time before we worry about the speed. 
it's easy to develop speed. You can just turn your metronome up a little bit. Once you're confident with that, you've played those cleanly. So I'll just uh, go down, switch me uh, tempo up. I'll just go up to 80. I don't want to go too far. Don't think because you're doing it at 60, oh, I can do 150 now. It doesn't really work that way. Just go up a little bit at a time and then you'll find where you're comfortable with. And like I said before, you'll reach a point where you increase the metronome and then at that point, that's when you start feeling it a little bit in your hand. Oh, that's a little bit quicker than what I'm used to. Probably not going to happen here at 80, but just to show you. So now I've gone from 60 to 80. I'm quite comfortable at that speed. If you're not comfortable at 60 or 80, go down to 40. No problem with that whatsoever. Just start where you're, you are comfortable with. Just because I'm playing at 80, I, I've been playing over 30 years, so don't, don't assume you're crap if you can't play at 80, so don't worry about that. It will come if you put the practice in. Um, the other thing playing with the metronome as well is it's very good overall practice for being able to hit those beats as I've, as I've just mentioned before so rather than playing when you feel is right you do get used to it and it sort of gets ingrained into your head even though we're just playing one string now that practice of hitting the beat of the metronome that gets into your head and you get used to playing consistently in time so build up the speed on the metronome when you're comfortable to do it not beforehand by all means for fun if you want to just see how far you can push it to find your maximum speed before you can't keep up you can do that but then when you do that get it set it back down to a speed that you can cope with because the metronome's got my uh, my numbers on i know what level i'm at and it helps me to be able to inform my personal practice so let's say for example that's my level at the minute 80 that's if i play if i try and play faster then i'm fluffing it and at the minute I'm only playing at 80. So I know that next time I practice this exercise, I've got a little goal there. Okay, well I'm playing 80, just on that basic picking. Maybe my goal is to get to 85. So I'll put some practice in, see if I can get to 85. And then next week, see if I can get to 90. And then once I get to 90, I'm thinking, oh, I'm not far off 100. And it helps to be able to motivate your practice. Certainly with a modern metronome, little form up like that, you can, um, you know, remember the number or write it down on a piece of paper with your other bits of music and stuff if you can't remember or if you're doing a few different exercises and you're up to different tempos on each one but from going from the basic economy technique just relying on my own metronome now we're switching to using uh, an actual metronome to make sure we get our timing right that's all for now I'm going to have a look at um, using different um, different speeds and timings within the same metronome setting and in the next lesson then after that I'll probably have a look at alternate picking. So have a go at that make sure you're in time with the metronome. If you haven't got a metronome, download it on your phone, they're free. There's loads of good ones out there and enjoy.